All right, so for this video, we're going to go over ambient occlusion passes. So this should be pretty short. This is the result of an ambient occlusion pass. Um, obviously, you would um, do this for something where if you're going to show off a model, you're going to have to show off certain passes. So with this is with the ambient occlusion. You can get your shadows and you get some extra detail in there. So, so this video should be pretty short and how to do it. It's very easy to do. So let's get um, started. So obviously this is our setup here. So we'll go ahead and just create a new scene from scratch. So anyway, so once you have your scene all set up, you're going to have to then um, set up your own uh, ambient occlusion layer if you want to do an ambient occlusion pass. And in order to do that, you have to select everything in the scene. So go to Edit, Select All, or just Select All with your mouse. Go to your uh, Render tab right here. And then you'll see that this is your master layer. Obviously, this is what is originally in your scene, but you're going to have to create a, a whole new separate layer. So then you don't have, want to render this out. So go to layer, create empty layer. And then for this one, you click on this layer and well, then there's nothing there. What happened? Well, you have to select everything in the master layer and put it in this layer. So right click, add selected objects, and there you go. So now with your master layer, obviously there's an X right here. That means that it will not render this uh, thing out for you. So that's good for us. So now it will only render out um, the stuff in this layer. So this will name the ambient occlusion layer. And there you go. Okay, so once you have that set, go to your attribute editor, go to your AO tab, ambient occlusion tab, go to presets, uh, press occlusion, and then it's going to turn everything in this layer I mean, everything in the scene black. Uh, do not worry, this is obviously just a surface shader added on to an ambient occlusion. So go to your ambient occlusion tab. Samples is probably going to be at 16 for default. Um, go to, let's say, 129 uh, for now. This will eliminate any graininess. Uh, for the bright color, we'll just take this down a bit, maybe to, you know, just a, a gray and a white. And then for the dark color, we'll just bring that up a bit. So. All right, then go to your render settings. Make sure you're using Metal Ray. Uh, common presets. Uh, preset for your image size, go with 640 by 480. Or if you want to go even bigger, you can go up to 720 or 1080. Um, for the sake of expediency, I'm just going to go with uh, 640 by 480. Um, or if you want, you can do the default you know, 720 by 405. So maybe we'll just go with that. OK, go to indirect lighting. And then scroll down, ambient occlusion tab, ambient occlusion, and catching. There you go. So, okay, so once you have all that set, you can close out of that, and then you can zoom on in here, and then you can render this out. So, depending on how fast your computer is or how um, powerful it is, it'll vary in um, render times. Mine's a little slow, so it takes a bit. Okay, so after. Rendering, we got this result, and this is basically your ambient occlusion baked onto your objects. So this is pretty much what you're going to get once you render this out. So obviously, if you want to increase the, um, if you want to increase anything else on the ambient occlusion, that's by your choice. So you can go ahead and go to the presets and see what you can find as far as anything else. Uh, make sure you go to your hypershade. And then you'll get your um, surface shader. Go to your surface shader node. Go to input output connections, and then ambient occlusion. And then here's your options. You can up the samples up to maybe 256 if you have a 4K map or something where you're going to import this into a game engine. So, or if you're going to break this into um, Photoshop for your any texturing, so to speak. So, but once you have basically your once you have everything set up, you're satisfied, and you want to go ahead and render it. Um, what you're going to do is go to your render settings make sure that your quality is it's going to be a custom anyway so obviously you would have it at um, production quality but it's going to be a custom because you've turned on a few settings you can turn on final gathering and global illumination those are optional though so I'll probably turn those off though because of render times and then as far as if you want to render this out set a name for it so I don't know let's say a name would be um, occlusion pass. 
And then image format, go with either Targa or TIFF for the highest quality, probably Targa. Do not use JPEG. I've been told that's been not a very good um, file format to use, pretty unprofessional because it, decre it decreases the quality each time when you try to compress it. So go with uh, Targa. Um, and then for um, the frame animation exterior name, just go with uh, name, number, exterior shot. And then this will open up anything else. Obviously, we have, I have no animations in this, but if you have animation, like this is a turntable, you would start at frame something and then end at frame, you know, whatever. So set all that up. And then once you have that, go to uh, your render tab. If you're in polygons, if you're modeling, go to render settings. Go to render, batch render, and it sh and then hit that button, and you are all set. And then it will render out your ambient occlusion. Uh, depending on how large of the of the um, model or whatever the heck you are trying to bake out, it's going to vary in render time. So it could take up as a little as 30 minutes, or it could take as long as three to four hours, or however long. However, depending on so many things, you know, frames. You know, if you're doing a 500 frame, you know, walk th um, cycle walk through, then yeah, it's going to take a long time. So, but anyway, that's it for this uh, video. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, go ahead and start off with your ambient occlusion passes. So, all right, enjoy.